So the Navy's Keep What You've Earned uh, campaign, the flagship program for responsible drinking. Keep What You've Earned talks about um, and is designed to you know, promote what you've earned, your privileges, your prestige, your rank, your responsible positions, your you know, choice in orders, your promotability you know, on your evals, keeping what you've earned. Sailor of the quarter, sailor of the month, sailor of the year, you know, the, the other Navy programs uh, that are associated with our diversity months, the uh, local programs like first class associations that recognize junior sailors for the month. All of these things that you've earned, the qualifications, your warfare, sea uh, school qualifications, you will lose if you do not drink responsibly and make a poor decision and end up in a situation where you have injured yourself or injured others, whether it's physically, emotionally, financially, um, or through work. I mean, who's gonna stand your watch? The Keep What You've Earned campaign is out there for us to grab onto something, to some language, to some campaign environment that we can share with each other and educate each other on uh, as a reach back and a reach forward and a reach to the side when we get into a situation with alcohol uh, and we need some resources, let's face it, uh, most of us do like to imbibe in an alcoholic beverage now and then, and that's okay, as long as you're of, of age um, and you're within the legal limits and the law. And just like everything else, you know, I'm not here to tout drink in moderation or don't drink at all. I'm here to tout drink responsibly, you know, drink responsibly. What I'm excited about with the Keep What You've Earned campaign is that it talks about what you've earned and what you can lose if you are irresponsible in your decision-making processes when it not only involves alcohol but other things. So what do you lose? You lose a stripe, you lose a crow, you lose a reputation, you lose money, you lose opportunity, you lose respect, uh, you lose your privilege to serve in the United States military. Say, for example, as an E-5 and earning in base pay $2,440 a month. And that doesn't include your COLA, your uh, special duty assignment pay, your, your BAH or OHA, your comrades, your all of that stuff, which can raise it up even higher. But let's just take base pay. Okay, so now you're an E-5, you've done all that, you've made a poor decision, you've gone to captain's mass or court-martial, and you lose rank, and you're reduced in rank to E-4. Mm -hmm. So now, basically for at least three years, before you can look at uh, an exam again, right? Three, three years in pay, in pay grade, right? Time and rate. So for three years, because you were reduced in rank as an E5 to an E4, you have lost over a three year period, just in your base pay, over $10,600. Now you can double that amount because of the loss of the increase of, uh, or the decrease of your COLA, of your OHA, or your BAH, your comrades, your special duty assignment pay, which you will lose, and other associated pays. So you will lose almost $20,000 over a three-year period because you chose consciously one night, for whatever those reasons, to drink irresponsibly and then drive. Only one-third of Americans between the age of 17 and 24 are even eligible to join the United States military. And an even smaller percentage makes it through boot camp and an even smaller percentage makes it through their first tour that has the stamina, that has the, the capabilities, you know, that has the strength. So we are a, a very elite group of decision makers of Americans that, you know, join the United States military. Um, there's not a lot of us that are eligible. So you've already said to the world, you've already said to yourself, to your family, to your shipmate, I'm one of the few that has made this decision 
that has made this commitment, regardless of what your age is or where you're from, you made a commitment and part of that commitment is keeping what you've earned. Don't wait for things to happen to you, make them happen for you.